Two people are dead after a violent crash in Woodland Hills. Crash took place at the front entrance of Pierce College. KTLA's Carlos Herrera live at the scene with the latest. Carlos, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Chris and Megan. We now know the two victims are two men, the drivers of each vehicle involved here uh, in this deadly overnight crash. You can see one of those cars here still this morning uh, at the scene over to the left curb of this area. The damage on this vehicle and you can also see the debris on the middle of the road or in the middle of the road uh, rather this area blocked off as the investigation continues uh, in this area but take a look here the LA County Coroner's office was here earlier this morning removing uh, one of the victim's bodies from the scene he is now the driver of one of the vehicles involved and only described as a man who's 20 to 30 years old. Investigators saying the deadly crash happened shortly after 1135 last night on Mason Avenue and Victory Boulevard. That's across the street from Pierce College here in Woodland Hills. Uh, they say one of the cars was traveling eastbound on Victory Boulevard, crossed over and collided head on with another vehicle that was traveling westbound on Victory. The driver of the first vehicle died here on scene. The driver of the other car was pinned and trapped inside. Firefighters had to use the jaws of life to free him as witnesses looked on and tried to jump in to help. So we see just at least, I don't even, I didn't count how many fire trucks were here, but I see, I saw at least like 15 to 20 firemen um, and both of them were work. They were like split up working on both cars, using the jaws of life to get out the victims. After firefighters freed the trapped victim from the car, he was taken to a hospital where he died. He's described as a 25 to 30 year old man. No other injuries were reported here uh, this morning. Detectives looking at traffic cameras to try to figure out what exactly happened and determine if alcohol, drugs or even speed were a factor for now. Uh, Victory Boulevard remains blocked off from DeSoto to Mason Avenue and could remain that way for a few more hours. Chris and Megan, I'll send it back to you guys.